Manish and I am a culinary arts tutor here. Uh, I teach level 4 and level 5. Uh, as you can see, these are some of the dishes not made by the tutor. These are the dishes made by the students of level 5 during the assessments, what they do go to. So just to straight away start our course journey, uh, the first course that we deliver down here is uh, New Zealand Certificate in Cookery Level 4. Uh, talking a bit about this course, it's pretty much a stepping stone for the culinary students when they come here. Uh, they would be they would be reaching to this place with a complete uh, blank canvas in their mind where we start to bring things together to build from there. Uh, in overall, it's a 35-week course with seven blocks of five weeks each. And talking about these blocks, these blocks pretty much focus on topics and these topics revolve around for five weeks where they get a lot of input from the tutor and then eventually they bring back their learning. So as you can see a picture on the right hand side, it's currently of a level 4 student which I'm teaching right now and it's from a pastry event that we have done. Currently I'm in the pastry block, uh, which we did apparently yesterday only. Uh, going through the learnings just in brief, uh, initially when the student will join, they would be taught about the knife skills, then they will be talk about they will be going through the uniforms the unit standards in terms of how to maintain hygiene in the kitchen uh, getting that basics clear that foundation that you start to build on when you do a cookery course uh, from there we start to slowly build on a sock soup and sauce that's the first block that we're going to be teaching on and from there we keep on going on the finger food we have sandwiches salad mini bite-sized food is what they're going to be uh, developing its skills on and then from there meat block where they learn all different red meats, white meats, offals, uh, fish block, seafood block, pastries which currently my class is and then obviously the complex dishes. Now that's a block which is very close to my heart because that's where the students will bring back what all they have learned in form of the three course meal events that we're going to be conducting. Uh, where the students will showcase, they have the whole right to choose the menu, what they want to create and then pull out the dishes in to the customers, we pretty much in the same area we are going to be setting it up, uh, restaurant style setup and then they would be presenting the food uh, down there and then the internship, I will go more in detail on internship at later stage but that is part of this course. Uh, one important thing that I want to mention down here is that you might be getting a questions around the globe in terms of if I do a New Zealand certificate in cookery, can we still enroll into a level 5 patisserie or pastry? Yes, you can because we have a bakery learnings in level 4 where we teach specialty breads, dough, cakes, slices and hot and cold desert. So yes, we do have a whole 5 week block where we are incorporating that talents, that skills into the students where they can pursue level 5 patisserie even after doing this course because sometimes when the students start to do the journey they develop new skills and they kind of uh, like that particular thing more than the gastronomy and that's where the change happens. Uh, the course is open to both domestic and international students and uh, one USP of this course which is uh, the food safety certificate that the students get uh, which precisely is unit standard 2066 where uh, which is based on health, hygiene, safety and life skills where the student gain this certificate. It, now the importance of this certificate is you need to have this certificate to be work ready in the industry. So I, so that's kind of incorporated in the course so that way it just makes the students to be easily uh, be part of the internship. Uh, so that's a little bit brief of the course. Then coming to the class schedule and the advantage if we talk about this course, class timing normally runs from 8.30 to 12.30 the morning or it would be 12.30 to 4.30 which is the evening uh, class. Then uh, if we break down the whole course, if uh, the whole course mostly 80% of the part would be practicals where they would be spending most of the time in the kitchen. So yes, it's a cookie course where they spend uh, cooking most of the time because that's where uh, you want to be most of the time. Uh, now if we start to break down per week this course and how it looks like for the student as a journey. Each week a student teaching hours will look like 20 hours. Uh, the SDL they do is 14.3 hours and which total constitutes to around 1200 hours they're going to be spending uh, teaching time in this course. 
Uh, SDL could be in the form of face-to-face, uh, -face, teams work, one note which they have to fill, or assignments being given, exercises they do. So this, this is all constituted together to make the SDL that they do. Uh, internship, talking a little bit more detail because normally I see whenever any student enrolls, they have a lot of questions on internship as to what all they are, so just, it is compulsory, it is part of uh, the course where they have to complete in a industry operational kitchen environment uh, and where they're going to be spending five weeks gaining the experience and coming back in terms of showing what they have learned. Uh, now, when they do this internship, there is something work-based training agreement that needs to be signed between the NZMA campus and the head chef or the owner of the place, which is kind of an agreement is stating the student going to be there uh, for that amount of time uh, and they're going to be spending X, X number of hours down there. So, uh, if, we look into, if we look into the internship part down there, they have to spend 30 hours uh, per week, which is 150 hours in total that they're going to be uh, spending in that internship. The internship that they do is in two ways they can uh, complete internship at NZMA. One is obviously with the employer, wherever they get an opportunity to do it. And the other option is to do it in an NZMA campus professional kitchen, which is mostly going to be the cafe kitchen that you have in the place, because that's the food certificate certified place where you're going to be uh, doing your internship uh, from. The total credit for the course is 120. Now, when it comes to the advantages, yes, gaining those soft skills in terms of gaining that confidence, gaining that, uh, that communication skills, because you see the student from the journey and you see them from the time they came, the way they communicate to the communication, what happens by the time they reach to delivery six is completely different. Uh, which obviously you will not see physically much, but maybe uh, you can start to feel it, what is students when they start to perform in their events and uh, things with what they do. Uh, other benefits obviously in terms of placements on a record, if I say most of the time our placements have been quite high with the students, most of the time level 4 students get a placement by the time they reach to their internship from the industry and that's the way they will continue their internship wherever they want to be uh, getting that job into. But yeah, we have students being sent anywhere, starting from fast foods to restaurants to hotels to aged care to even hospitals where they have been working. Uh, that's one part of it. Uh, if we look into the positions, what kind of positions we gonna be? They're gonna be getting at this stage would be mostly kitchen hand and commie positions, which is very much like an entry level positions after doing level four. And the next option, obviously, they have is to staircase to level five, which is a level five cookery or a pastry course. Uh, which again I'm going to go next quickly on a brief uh, about it. So most of the information will remain very much the same. Just something unique of this course which I will explain is obviously this course is where you build up on that basic skills that you have gained in level 4. Pretty much like administrative skills and kitchen management skills which will include uh, creating menus, planning menus, costing, uh, how to run a business profitably, understanding all that. Um, information. Um, managing people is also a quite a unique block where the student becomes the head chef of a place, uh, pretty much for a restaurant, and that, and then they become, and then they become the, uh, they run the whole event in terms of having their staff as sous chef at CDP, and then kind of developing that managing skills to run the kitchen on their own, and that's what we try to build up in level five. So level five, if you look overall. The whole theme is making the students work ready, that they can step into the industry and they can perform from day one. That's our whole motive. As a, I have been teaching level five mostly here, um, and that's my motive is mostly down here is to make the students work ready so that they can perform in the industry down there. Apart from that, we talk about the world cuisines, different food trends in talking about social media, how does it affect the current trends in the industry. Uh, how Instagram posts and all these things will affect your uniqueness, making your name into the industry. So that's that's um, overall we talk about. And then the advanced culinary techniques. So these are some unique things that we go to in the level five. Uh, apart from that, one very uh, another thing that we do is the indoor and outdoor events, where we take the students to different places. Uh, 
uh, it could be fish market visit, it could be a three course fine dining meal uh, or a gala dinner which normally is done for family and friends of the students who come here and they prepare the food for them. That's kind of a completely different vibe for the students, that proud moment that comes to them in terms of uh, making food for their family and friends. So that's pretty much a very much part of level five what they do here. Class schedule pretty much remains very similar. The advantages if we go into down here, uh, apart from that obviously gaining all those soft skills and hard skills, they would be reaching to that. Here they, we are looking more like them gaining that supervisory skills in terms of uh, becoming a demi-CDP or a CDP, which is chef the party, which is pretty much like a supervisor in a kitchen. So that's the kind of positions we're going to be looking for there. Apart from that, the other opportunities that they have is to pursue a diploma in culinary management, which is a level six course mostly been given by uh, Auckland Central right now, but apparently we have plans, we, we have it next year uh, coming down here and we're going to be taking that course. Even if a student, and I, I had one student last year, where they can do a further professional development, where their pathway goes with uh, AUT for Bachelor of Arts degree with Culinary Arts major, it's a three-year course, which also they can uh, pursue as part of their course. And apart from that, the, the whole concept is endless for them. They can become consultants, they can become food critics, they can become uh, food writers, they can become many things down there once they complete this level five. Because level five is very much like opening their spectrum of understanding everything about not only cooking, but how to manage a business, how to run the whole business down there. That's the whole motive behind it. a level five course. Uh, yes. uh, pretty much that's about the courses that we have been delivering down here that I have been teaching for last four to five years. Uh, I have a short video to play uh, down here, which uh, Yeah, that's more or, more or less uh, what we have been doing.